Hey guys, this is my review on some Fashion Nova jeans I've recently purchased. So these are the black ones, probably my favorite ones that I bought. They're super long and stacked, as you can see at the bottom of my ankles. There's a lot of length toward them. There's a size 3, and that's just cute. Now, this is how these jeans came out, guys. Like, no shape at all. Like, every jeans are shaped like that. So, don't think they will complement your body. Now, these are the next ones. They're, like, I guess supposed to be holes in the knee, but it's kind of a little bit above my knee. But that's okay. They, I think they're all right. And these are the next ones. There are more rips in them, and kind of light in certain areas so i think they are okay as well and then these are like the last ones is plain jane regular jeans um i think they are all right i probably should have returned them hey guys so i wanted to share with you my experience with these jeans and it's kind of weird because i haven't been ordering from fashion nova like whenever my birthday come around i was like go to fashion over to find a dress or something to wear or if I go out on a trip or anything I always check fashion over along with like the other websites you know pretty little things or sheen stuff like that so this time I decided to go to fashion over for my jeans because I found out that they are doing the jeans where like you can get long jeans extra long for me I'm only 5'5 five five, but I feel like I guess my legs are long a lot of the jeans that I get from normal stores, or not normal stores, but any store, they fit, but they're not long to my liking. So when I seen that they had like an extra long, like, you know, for the long legs people, I was like, yes, let me go get me some fashion other jeans. So I found me like six pair of different jeans because I just wanted to rack up on jeans and yeah. So um, it was around Christmas time. I didn't really look at the details as when I was putting in like for the shipping so I didn't realize that I ended up doing a no rush like 10 days type shipping so that was like on my end but uh for just going fast because it was already uh free shipping so I just thought that it was gonna give me the best you know possible shipping but no it didn't so I had to wait like a good two weeks for my gym to even come in but it was a whole mess. So when I was shipping, when I was ordering through Fashion Nova, I would always, um, they would always ship through USPS. This time it was like LSO, Long Star Overnight shipping, something like that, like a new company. So when they gave me my tracking number, like the package wasn't moving. Like the last thing that I got, like an update was saying in Texas, I think, and it was just, stuck there for days and so and then like fashion nova had already emailed me in the uh, shipping carrier saying that my package was going to come friday here it is friday and it's not here i haven't seen no recent updates of where my package is at so i'm contacting fashion nova through email now because they don't have an actual like chat room like other places does and so I'm emailing them and I'm guessing it's like a machine because every time I email them, you guys, every single time it would be like the same layout. Oh, your package is on the way. It's it's um it seems to be on track of when it's supposed to be delivered. And I'm like literally I'm telling them today is the day it's supposed to be delivered and it's not here. So they just keep sending it. Every time I send like an email, I've sent so many emails out to get in contact because I'm like I want my package. I spent like $106 on this and I'm not about to play. So, like I said, after continually to email them, eventually the package came. Also, not to mention, I went to the carrier. I went to their, the LOS, LSO, I went to them, their website to figure out who can I contact from them because it's on their end really right now because Fashion Nova already shipped it. And there's no person you can call. Every time you call the number on the customer service, it's like giving you a machine woman and she's like, oh, you have to do it online. But when you try to submit and figure out online, the website, they want you to sign up and make an account. And I'm like, I'm not about to make an account for y'all. Like, I'm not, no, I'm not about to do all that. I end up sending in a claim 
never receive an email back. I'm like, this company, I don't know why Fashion Nova is doing this, but this is making y'all look bad as well because at the end of the day, I need to get my package and y'all, like both parties are playing because they both don't have actual people who are able to communicate with them and tell them what's going on with their package instead of using like force machines and it's just frustrating. So eventually it, my jeans come and um, I try them on and two of the pairs, all of the jeans that I got are a size three. Two of them were like super tight. Did not feel like the other ones. They were super tight and they felt like jeggings. A lot of jeans, I know, the first time I seen them, it kind of felt like they were like getting cheap. I don't know. That was just my concept. Now as I rewear them again, some of them are okay, but the two that they sent back, like they were like jeggings. And so I was, I went back to look on the description. I'm like, did any of these say jeggings? And to my regulation, none of them said that they were jeggings. So I was confused about that. But anyway, so I shipped those two back. Thinking that I'm gonna get my refund back. Not to mention, I had to pay $7.99 for shipping just to get the label to ship back to them these pants. Uh, maybe like a week later, they give me a store credit. I email them again and say, I don't want store credit because I didn't like my experience with you guys. Like, I had to, I could not get in contact with anybody. My package already was on like a, a long um, shipping period because I wasn't paying attention. But the fact that, you know, you guys gave me an estimated delivery date, and I know it's estimated, so it's like, oh, that's what they try to use to cushion themselves whenever our package don't come, when they tell us it's supposed to come. And then the fact that nobody could give me an update when my package was, the last notice that I got was like probably a week saying that it was in Texas. So I just didn't like my experience in general. It was very like frustrating, can't talk to nobody, yada yada. They sent back and was like, oh, majority of our um, refunds have to be store credit. I looked on the website, it did say that, so I want to warn everyone. Look at reviews, because if you try to ship something back, they will give you store credit, and they will make you spend that money on them, even if you did not like their, if you didn't even like what you received, like, you're going to have to get your money back through them and spend it back on them. So, I think that was kind of like selfish and like, not pretty much on our side of the end like if you don't like something or if you got the wrong item like i gotta get my money back on y'all website mm. okay so that was very frustrating uh so then my brother is around the corner so i decided to buy two dresses and i used the store credit because i'm like i already gotta use it uh, i'm not gonna just waste the money about two dresses and the dresses were you know, um, they were pretty decent. I kind of didn't like one, but then it's just my personal present presence. My perfect, my personal, personal. Now I lost the word that I was thinking about. Personal preference. <laughs> um, but I'm able to put reviews on those dresses on my YouTube and on the comment section because I need everybody to start looking at what they're buying before they just buy, especially with them having this type of refund, like store credit thing. So that was pretty much my experience. The jeans, to give a little bit more on the jeans, they are all wrong like they are supposed to. Um, they fit me pretty well other than the other two. I did not like that, I can't even show you guys, but they're so high waisted. I kind of didn't like that part. And also, I forgot to tell you guys that they do not complement your body. Like, they're just straight. They do not complement your body at all. And I think that's one of the things that I also did not like about buying these jeans was that they did not complement your body. They are just straight down, flat. Like, what is this going to do for anybody other than make their booty look worse? <laughs> so, I didn't like that. The reason I, why I did not return all of them because then... That would have just been $106 back to the account. Second, I wanted more jeans. That was a point of me getting like these jeans. So I was just like, I'll just settle for them. And I just know not to shop with them no longer. Um, I probably will not shop with them just because I just don't like 
the way they move. Because even when I bought these uh, two dresses, it still took a little longer than, I actually did two day shipping for these. And it still took longer than what they told me. And once I emailed them, I'm, over, I'm getting go. Oh, it's supposed to be delivered still on, on the time that we gave you guys, and it wasn't. So I'm just over them in their shipping process and then their quality. Like the jeans were all right, the dresses were pretty good though. So I don't know, but I'm just, when it comes to shipping, for me, it's like once I push process like payment and y'all take that money out just as quick, that's how quick I want my clothes. So if I gotta like email, email just to talk to robots, like a machine, like that's not just for me. Like I just gotta find something else. And the only reason, like I said, that I even did the, the dresses after buying the jeans were because I already have store credit. So yeah, that's my experience. I'm sure a lot of people are experiencing that as well. I'm, I'm not sure if it's because they've got popular now, like they keep continuing to get popular. For me, I'm good. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you like and enjoy my video, my little story time for you guys. Um, if there's anything you would like for me to show you guys, let me know down in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.